Um, Senator Blade Marsh from Jennings is joining us for a couple of seconds. Here's the deal, Mr. Blade. How are you this morning, by the way? Good morning. Very well. How are y'all this well, morning? Well, here's the deal. A man who is charged with heading a committee to reorganize and make recommendations on how to save tops. That's have you God had bless your, you. Have you had your blood pressure taken lately? <laughs> and ha, are you eating lots of celery? Uh, what tell us about this committee and what you guys are trying to do? I think that's a, an excellent question. Actually, uh, we we realized this past session that um, Tops is twenty years old. Doesn't seem like it, but it is. It's twenty years old. Tops is a program. When you look at it, that was uh, created in uh, 1997, 98, um, and uh, things have changed tremendously in higher education over the last 20 years. When TOPS was created, tuition was extremely low. Um, We didn't have admission standards at any of our four-year universities. We didn't have a community college system in this state, and we also didn't have online uh, academic courses, and matter of fact, online degrees. So there's been a drastic change in higher education and no real change in tops except for the cost. And the cost has continued to to go up. And as a matter of fact, for the first time in those 20 years, we didn't fund it Excuse a year me, ago. Pardon me just a second, Mr. Blade. Now, we had Jane Smith in yesterday, former state rep Jane Smith. And you know she said well. in its in its current form, she said that tops is financially unsustainable. Are you and your committee starting from that assumption? I think it's certainly part of the conversation. Uh, it, it, we did do something last year that helped that in that we put a cap on tops. We capped the amount of money that we will spend at the 2016-17 fall tuition rate. So we did put a cap, which is going to stop it from growing. Uh, But it's still a program that's um, 300. You you can cap the amount of money that the state spends on tops, but um, tuition doesn't continue to increase. Well, tuition tuition could continue to increase, but we won't pay any more than what we paid in the 2016-17 fall semester. That's that. So So that's a lot of angry people, Mr. Blade, right? That caps it. I I don't know. Uh, Let me me tell you that that this program, the TOPS program, absolutely there is no other state in the union that has a program like this. Georgia has a Georgia Hope program, and I think Tennessee has a Tennessee Choice. No other state has any kind of state-sponsored program like we have in Louisiana. It is the most lucrative college tuition program in the United States of America. Is that 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 good? Is Is that good? I don't think it's bad. You know, I think it's been, TOPS has been a very successful program. It's just that in the last basically eight to ten years when tuitions begin to increase, when actually the legislature, which I was part of, Uh, didn't fund higher education at one time just 10 or 12 years ago 70 percent of higher education of of a student's higher education was funded by the state 30 percent by the student today it's 30 percent by the state 70 percent by the student tops is directly tied to tuition when tuition goes up the cost of tops goes up You've proposed That's how we got where we are today. Blade, under your proposal, y'all I guess y'all be taking action next week. You want to give a flat four thousand dollar payment to students at what level? These are the, the students that are not performing at, at the, the highest end. level? That's correct. I wouldn't I hate to use that term, but they they're at the entry level of tops. They're the two point five grade point average. And let me stop there. Two point five grade point average in the core curriculum. Remember what that core curriculum is, four Englishes, four maths, four sciences, two foreign language. These are not CRIP courses. So it's a 2.5 in the core curriculum, a 20 on the ACT. They're currently receiving their tuition at any university they they want to go to in the state. Well, you can't even get into LSU with a 20 on the ACT, correct? You can't. You cannot. Okay. Unless you get a waiver. The, the, The Regents does offer... 
does offer a 4% variance where, you know, they, if they say a kid has a 4.0 grade point average, 20 on his ACT. There are some exceptions, but basically when you look at LSU's entrance requirements, you look at Louisiana Tech's entrance requirements, you cannot get in with a 2.5 GPA and a 20 on your ACT. Who You're is, right on point there. Who, who will be eligible for the highest tops award, and what will that be? What amount will that be? Um, I'm actually adding an award. That I'm, I'm proposing to add an award that will be called Honors Plus that will require a 4.0 grade point average and a 30 plus on your ACT. You will get your tuition in $2,500. So what do we do if we this don't have... This addresses the issue. This addresses the issue of these uh, most academically qualified students being picked off by the Baylors and Alabamas and Ole Misses of this world who are actively recruiting in this state. Taking our best and brightest, right? Yes, I hate to use that term. They're most academically uh, academically advanced students. Um, Look, I think a guy with a 20 and a 2.5, that's me. Uh, I don't know that I'm the best and the brightest. I don't know that I'm the brightest, but I'm certainly a good student, uh, you know, and deserve some attention. But I'm not – those students with a 20 on their ACT and a 2.5 are not being recruited by any other university in the nation. Mr. Blake, As a matter of fact, if those students lived in any other state, they wouldn't be getting a scholarship Excuse offer me, we, at we're, all. We're a little short of time, so i got one more question. If, we, if, if the plan is to limit – the amount of, to cap the amount of total money that goes into the tops fund, and you get more and more kids who qualify for tops, and you're promising them the money. What, what, what if what if there's not enough money? It, it's there. There is a formula for that. It goes to a prorated program. It, if we if we reduce the funding by ten percent, everyone everyone gets ten percent less of their award. Blade. That's current law. Gotcha. Blade, let me ask you one more thing. A lot of people talk about this. Students that have abused tops, gone to college and blown it and flunked out. Is there any provision in your proposal or have y'all talked about some sort of mechanism that those people who have wasted this money should pay it back? We've talked about it ad nauseum and finally decided that it was it was it was not doable, mainly because it is reduced. Uh, we because of admission standards. Uh, we're getting a better student. We're down from about 28% that we're abusing it to about 12%. I think if we do my proposal, what we did the $4,000 stipend, and most of those students are in that opportunity award category. We're now where they're getting 4000 but they have to put some of their own skin in the game. Mm-hmm. It changes that whole behavior.